a normal normal position. So here we're going to uh, test for more of an ulnar nerve bias. So start off in neutral positions. Again, establish resting symptoms. We'll take end range elbow flexion. Doing okay? Any symptoms? Now we're going to take her into forearm pronation. How you doing? Okay. okay. Then I'm going to take her into wrist extension and try to bias more ulnar side. Okay. You okay? Mm -hmm. So you're getting the fingers then on the ulnar side? Yeah, too. yeah. The last two digits, fifth and fourth digit. Yeah. Then I'm going to take her into lateral rotation. You doing okay? Yep. Yeah. And then I'm going to take her into shoulder AV duction. How you doing? Okay. Why wouldn't you go to the radial side for the little bit there? Bring your right ear towards your right shoulder. And change. A little bit worse. Towards me. That makes it better. That's okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So start neutral. Elbow flexion. Forearm pronation. I think McGee says supination, right? I think that's where it was. Yeah. yeah. So forearm pronation. Wrist extension, emphasizing kind of ulnar side. Lateral rotation. Abduction. Okay. So just kind of think, you know, with each of these, where the nerve courses and how you're going to stress it. You know, with the radial, you're going to stress it more this direction. Ulnar, you're going to stress it more this direction. Okay. Median, because it comes more here. Anteriorly, you're going to stress it more 